example of Ethiopian Airlines flight number ET302 that crashed. There were two people who didn't make the plane. One of them had a boarding pass and he got to the gate a moment after the flight had closed, after the gate had closed. He tackled them. He desperately wanted to get there. I have a policy. Because we're at peace, if we missed it, we'll smile. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Notice I said Alhamdulillah two times. When something happened my way, I say Alhamdulillah. When it did not happen my way, I say Alhamdulillah twice. That means praise be to Allah. All praise is due to Allah. Why twice? Because now he has chosen for me something far better than I think was good for me. Later on, when he discovered and the other brother discovered that this flight had lost all the passengers, they all died. May Allah grant them goodness. I promise you, my brothers and sisters, the relief was such that, oh, the Almighty saved me. But moments ago, you were fighting to be on there. Imagine. This is why we say the inner peace comes when you understand the plan of the Almighty. You made a little accident. You come out of the car and start yelling at the sister or the brother who might have bumped into you or you may have bumped into without realizing, calm down, relax. Perhaps the Almighty didn't want you to get into a crash further up which could have broken your limbs and you didn't know and you will never know. So to recognize the maker brings about a unique type of peace, a contentment, a happiness that everyone is searching for. When you're ill and sick, for example, people become frustrated. How long am I going to suffer? I promise you, suffering never lasts. The maximum is to the point of the worldly death, beyond which there is no suffering thereafter. Even the Prophet ﷺ has taught us that beyond that point of death, there will not be any suffering. Fatima radiallahu anha makes mention of it. Aisha radiallahu anha speaks of it. There will not be any hurt or harm after this day. The day of what? The day of death. We came onto this world or onto the earth. We were crying. I think you perhaps would know that we were crying. If we weren't crying, the nurse spanked us a little bit to say, let's make sure that the lungs are all inflated properly. And this child is normal. And then we started crying. The louder the cry, the happier they were. The redder your face became, the happier they were. Why? Because they knew you're alive. Little did anyone know that the difficulties you're going to face throughout your life. If it were not for the help of the Almighty, we would all be absolutely depressed. But we have conviction that whatever he chooses is the best for us. On condition that we're trying. As human beings, we falter, we err. I always tell those who sin, when you sin and transgress, your peace will be snatched away because you've done something that is definitely not within the ingredients of contentment. Your peace will be snatched away. But you need to know the sooner you turn to the Almighty, the better it is for you. And I want to give you one beautiful consolation. And that is, a believer does not sin out of defiance of the maker. Therefore, he deserves forgiveness. Because he is sinning out of human weakness, not out of the defiance of the maker. If I commit a sin, I'm not committing a sin because I want to say to Allah, Astaghfirullah, that you made this prohibited, I'm going to show you, I will do it and you're going to do nothing about it. That is called defiance. A believer does not do that. But rather a believer says, oh Allah, through my human nature, my weakness, I perpetrated a sin. I did something that was wrong. Forgive me. You have already recognized the supremacy of your maker. You have already recognized that yes, his law stands, his way and his entire system is according to what he wanted, not according to what I wanted. So if you'd like peace, you need to understand that the Almighty has set rules, regulations. You know, we have the prayer the prayer prayer brings about a unique peace if you were to wash yourself and you were to stand in front of your maker in the early hours of the morning i swear there is a peace that we should be speaking about that is interior before exterior that we achieve that cannot be described but it can only be felt by those who are willing to share that type of a moment with their maker